pissed off? He put on a MAGA hat. He I literally can, put it on. I can see Joe Biden being pissed Dude off. Dude said it was it was an old guy. And the old guy said, he said, you know what will make me happy? And Joe was like, what's that? You, you, what, he, what he said? You strong old man. What's that? He said, if you was to wear this hat. And then Joe Biden took the hat and he put it on his head and he said, yeah. <laughs> and it was a Trump hat. Make America great again. I swear to God, I'm not joking, bro. So he tricked him. No, he knew it was a Trump hat because he was in the town where they love Trump. So he didn't trick him. He knew he was. He knew where he was at. Well, then again, you never know what Joe. I don't know if Joe knows where he's at. Stinky Joe, man. Stinky Joe, bro. He put it on. He was like, like this. Come on, man. That'd have been everywhere, bro. It was everywhere. You didn't see it. I, I just told you I did. I did not see it. That you want to see? You want to see it? Fuck yeah, I want to see it. Okay, let, let me. Let but me. I told you I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm going to have to see it to believe it. Yeah. So here it is, right here. Let me check it out. Presidential hat. Presidential seal on it. You got an autograph? Oh, sure, I'll autograph. There you go, man. I got. I need. I need that hat. You want my autograph? Hell no. <laughs> you got my name. Put it on. Put it on. Come on. I ain't going that far. Yeah. <laughs> somebody said. Somebody said, put it on. So he said. He said. Uh, I want. I need that hat. So he took it from him. He said. You already know my name because dude said you want autograph from me. He said, hell no. Like, he ain't going to sign this Trump's hat. That's what he's saying. And then somebody said, put it on. And he said, oh, hell no. I ain't going that far. That's what he said. So, I ain't going that far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even do a selfie. There you go. Yeah. 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 That right there. That was the nail in the coffin, bro. That was the nail in the coffin. Don't get me wrong. I'm one of those people that can. It's definitely a joke, but you yeah, know, it, 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 it definitely a joke, but bro. No, but if, if, if that fifty cent, that that's that's that's, that's some yeah yo shit. Fifty cent would call you. You're like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you did that in the middle of her campaign, bro. What? Yeah. She was there too. She was there. Yes. <laughs> she probably wanted to smack this. Bro, shit she out. definitely was there. Mm. She's there. Did you notice that Joe Biden didn't campaign for her, right? He didn't do a lot of campaigning. No, he didn't. He didn't do campaign. I'm for trying her. to tell you, he's mad. Everybody knows he was mad, they, and it wasn't right what they did to him. They undercut that boy. They told him, "Look, Obama told him, you got to sit yeah, down, you gotta Joe. You got to sit down, Joe. You got to sit down, Joe. You got to sit down. You got to sit down. Sit your sleepy ass down, it's, Joe. It's, it's Kamala's turn. It's Kamala's turn. Yep. <laughs> it's like they didn't even put no votes in for it. They just gave it to her. <laughs> just installed the bitch. <laughs> like here. You, bro. you know what I'm saying? This is stalled her. Joe did not feel that. He didn't feel that shit. He definitely did. Hey, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Yeah. You can do it here. Hit the thumbs up button. If you like the content. All the new subscribers, thank y'all for joining us. You know what I'm saying? And we just going, we going to shoot the shit, man. That's what we going to do today. And um, we might get into a couple of different topics. We ain't going to talk about Trump and Biden the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We definitely going to do it. My hand is starting to spin with all Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Political. Election is over, man. Election is yeah, over. We, so we, 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 we. We ain't gonna do all that. I'm but good. make sure you could make sure you uh, like, share, subscribe. They call me the Hidden Gym. I went from thirteen hundred subscribers to over twelve thousand subscribers. And let me know where you're from, man. You know what I'm saying? Legendary spill shit. So look, here's the thing, right? Last time we was here, we talked about hip hop and yes, sir. where hip hop stands now. Do you think it's gotten any worse or better, or is still at a standstill to you? Still that stand still to me. But um Tyler put out a nice project. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's decent, man. Yeah. It's not bad. It's, it's decent though. It's, oh, that's the question I have for you, but go ahead. I like his I like Tyler. His, his creativity is is just one of the best. Let me ask you this about Tyler the creator. So I've seen this going around online. And maybe maybe me and you could have a debate about it. Do you think Tyler can replace J. Cole? You don't think so? Mm-mm. Why? Why you say that? Uh, cause J Cole's definitely the position where he's in. I don't think so. Do you think J Cole has better albums than Tyler? Uh, yes. Which ones? Just curious. Which ones did you? Which which album 
and you might not know the names i'm just saying like which album you think is is pretty good or did you hear all of did you ever hear all the tyler albums you just heard i heard the new one yeah i listened to um i listened to his last one the one that that, the last one cornucopia no more earthquake on there oh was that uh cherry bomb I don't know what that goes, but I believe it was Jerry Bond. Yeah, whatever that was. His last one, one with Earthquake on it. I, I, that's one of the, the people were saying it was a good album, so I actually went and listened to it. It was decent. He um he reminded me of like the, of of uh, Andre 3000 vibes. Yeah. With that ass album. Did you like Goblin? Yes, I like Goblin. Do you like Igor? Igor, yeah. I'm not sure which one. He, he, Igor is the one he looks. It kind of looks like Goblin on the front. <laughs> but did you like uh, uh, Flowers? Nah, I never heard that one. That was the one he was in the Flowers in the uh, John. Um, There's a lot of Tyler albums I have not listened to. A lot of people don't hear his albums. I think creative, create creatively, he's better than J Cole to me. Overall, that's a very good argument for me now. Yeah. Because of his last album, Tyler Creed, I think he needs to. I think we need to put some respect on his name. Oh no, I, I respect Tyler. People, yeah, people be looking at me like, "How you listen to this guy?" I'm like, "Oh no, how you don't listen to this guy?" Yeah, I, I definitely think that he needs. It, it, what turned me off about Tyler is what he did to Bruno Mars. I didn't like that. What he did to Bruno? He was just talking shit on Bruno Mars, saying he's gay. He's gay. He's gay. Like he. This is when he was. In his earliest stages, he was he was on his Eminem shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's type. That's what Tyler is. But but I don't I don't I don't I don't think that that's one cool. Of his, one of his best friends was gay. I know, but I'm saying he was he was just and and it's not even about the gay part. I'm just saying you attacking Bruno Mars for no reason. Was he attacking him or was he just? No, going? yes he was. He was saying he's corny. He's so gay. He's a he's gay. Like it's funny. Don't get me wrong. It's funny. But at the same time, I, I don't respect that. You don't like Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars is, 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 is he's, a great He's artist. the truth, bro. I mean, you can't really say anything about Bruno, bro. Come on. Not, not gonna love. He's a, one of the... Yeah, you can't. He's one of the best ever. Yeah, he, he can't do it. Definitely, definitely. But if I had to compare the two, go down the line, I don't know, man. I think, I think Tyler got better albums than J. Cole altogether because we going from Friday Night Lights Born Center, which is classic. Forest Hill Drive. That's classic. That's two. Then he got uh I believe it's KOTD. That's For Your good, Eyes Only. That's a good album. Yeah, KOTD's dope. Yeah. For Your Eyes Only. And then what's the I one? What's the one where he's standing in front of a fire? I can't remember the name of that album. It's not the fall off. The fall off is his new album. I can't remember the name of the album, but then you go down to Tyler's albums. They all stand out and they're all different. And they all good. You know what I'm saying? I definitely think Ego is classic. I definitely think Goblin's classic. And I definitely think uh I definitely think Flowers is classic. Mm-hmm. That's that's three out the gate. You know what I'm saying? Now, is it classic to the point where it's like Illmatic classic? I don't know about all that. Then that means it ain't classic. That's a great argument though that I wanted to have with you about that. So is there different stages of classic, or if it's a classic, it's a classic. So classic. like cult classics. Well, you would, well, you got cult classics. But what would be a cult classic to you? You mean album? Yeah, album. What would be a cult classic, album wise? Mm, not for me, but a cult classic would be like an ICP album. Who you talking about? Oh, you talking about Insane Clown? Yeah. No, I'm saying for you. Not them. I don't have any cult classics. Uh, <laughs> like all right, let me see. Classic is a classic. Like I don't have no like no cult. Let classics. me let me see if I can pull one out for you that you would think is a cult classic. Like my classics are classics. So your classics to you are certified. Yeah. Certified classics. Yeah. Uh. Oh, I got one for you. Oh, I don't want to talk about him too. Um. Black Moon's first album. Yeah, it's a cult classic or certified classic. Black Moon's first album, I don't think it was a classic at all. You, you really? No, I think Who got the know. props? Yeah. Yes, I, come on, man. yeah, listen. You don't think that was a classic? I thought it was a good album. That's a cult classic to me. 
I thought it was a good album. <coughs> don't get it messed up. Please. Smith and Wesson. Please, the comment section. Please don't come at me all crazy. Smith and Wesson. Cult classic or certified classic? The okay. Shining. Okay, I see where you come. You from. see what I'm saying? Okay. Was that a cult classic or a certified classic? It'd be a cult classic for people that was really into. We was definitely into that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can say. Who's better back then, Boot Camp or Wu Tang? Wu Tang. Damn, that's a good battle though. Yeah, it was, but I'm a. Uh, yeah, we 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 roll with Wu, man. I'm sorry. Wu, man, I'm sorry. Man. It's, it's, I think I, I definitely think that Boot Camp is is. A, I don't know, man. Boot Camp. Well, no, then, no. well, you know, the crazy thing is. I love Boot Camp, bro. Man. You know what I mean? Boot Camp was them niggas, man. I mean, they... It's, and, it's, they, they bro, I don't they, know, man. Boot Camp might have better still, rappers, though. And the ones that still working? Yeah. They still fire. I don't know. Boot Camp might have better rappers. I don't know. I, we I, could go... Let's 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 go down the list. Okay, let's. let's right? Let's. Okay. So, who you pulling out for Wu-Tang that's the top lyricist? The Jizzle? Method Man. You think Method Man is the top lyricist? Oh, he definitely is. Sean Price. Okay, that that's easy. That's a good battle. That's a good right? battle. That's a real so battle. So the Jizza, would 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 you say he's next? Oh well, no no, I'm not going by like. You just saying like who you like? Just name anybody, I guess. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll go to the Jizza. Yeah. Rock Nest Monster. Okay. Yes. He's, he's definitely. He's definitely he probably one of the top. Best of Camp. Yeah, he's top. Then you got uh, then I don't know Wu Tang might kind of win after that. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. Like, <laughs> wait a minute, you still got, you still got, uh, you got Tech Inspector. is still, yeah. Steel is kind of fire. I don't know if he's better than Inspector Deck. You think Steel is better than Inspector? I don't know. That's a good battle though. That's a good battle, but he's not. The Coco Brothers, it's, it's, they not better than Ra- Raekwon and, and uh, what's his name? Fuck no. Hell to the no. They're not better than no, Raekwon and, Ghost. uh, and Ghostface. Come on, Ghostface alone, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, Ghostface. Ghostface is the truth. On, Ghostface, man. you have to you have to pull out somebody like Rockness Monster for Ghostface, and he doesn't have any. Uh, Rockness doesn't have. Oh, we Sean Price. Sean Price would have to. He would be holding the whole load because yeah, Sean Price a monster. He's a monster, and he has a lot of solo projects. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it would be, but you got who you got? Starain Wonder. Nah, get him out of here. That's you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, OGC, get him o- out of here. It's OGC. I mean, like Representative I, is fire though. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I liked OGC. Representatives fired up. They wasn't. You know I mean? They wasn't no. What wasn't on that? They wasn't. They wasn't the the, fi- the fire of, of boot camp. Yeah. You know, then you okay? Coco now Brothers. now. So it was Coco Brothers. It was Smith and Wesson. Yeah. Um. um what, Who um, got the better singles though? Of course, it's Wu Tang. Okay, so th- th- I'm gonna tell you why I disagree. You can't. I, I'm gonna tell you. If we talk individually or collectively, it's kind of Wu Tang is gonna win because they got more songs, more albums, or whatever. They got but, more. They got more banging the singles. But wait, Buckshot Shorty, he had a lot of fire singles. Yeah, man. I look, Buck. Like yeah. you say, who got the props? He had a lot I of love fire that singles, song, bro. Like I still play Duck that, song that to bro. Some yo, I don't man. Listen, let that's, me explain something to you. That's bro. in my playlist rotation. Oh bro. my god! When I want to hear a, a hip hop, yeah, who got the props is definitely sitting there. It's shout like, out to shout out to Buckshot. He got he got beat up real bad. No way. Yeah, like three days ago. No fucking way. I swear to you, he got beat up really bad, and the dude taped it. And it's on. It's all over Twitter. What? Yeah. Oh, I'm not on Twitter. That's fine. He beat him like really bad and was filming it and For talking what? and punch. Somebody said that Buckshot owned some property and the dudes were squatters. And when he came there to get them out, they jumped him or they beat him up real bad. And then somebody said that it was a one on one. So he was talking shit. I met Buckshot before. I met him before. Yeah. And I don't know. I, uh, just because I met him don't mean he wasn't an asshole. I don't really know the man. But when I met him, he was he was pretty decent to me. He was pretty nice. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he got jump. He got we're gonna say jump. He got beat up real bad, like really bad. He was in the hospital and everything. This is, oh, it was man. all over. Shout out to Buckshot, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to Buckshot, man. Buckshot has one of the greatest songs ever created. Killing every nigga in sight. I don't think I've heard that. You've never heard that song. Killing every nigga in sight. You know Buckshot, and I would say Buckshot was. 
he was one of the first artists to ever sign artists do you know that yeah he was one of the first artists to ever sign artists and he was one of the first artists to do the things he did the one of the, a lot of a lot of people don't know that he kind of made the remix pretty big yeah 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 he said um, bucktown with well, duck down duck down Mm-hmm. Buck them down, buck them down, that yeah, joint. Buck them down, yeah. buck, buck them down. down. I like the original version better though. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Well, well, they they say, well, what's called said that's why they said their remixes. When it comes down to remixes, they buck will write a whole new verse. Yeah. So that's why they they are the way they are. So because buckshot was yeah. If, if you're making a remix and not doing the same verse, you gotta write a new verse. Yeah, I'll play I'll play killing every nigga inside. I'm sure you heard it. You just don't remember. Probably. It was. It was one of the it was one of, it was one of the first songs that I felt like it was so dark. I couldn't believe that hip hop could get dark like that. Shit. Like it was dark. And on team, like we, we, when you when I'll let you hear it, you'll hear it and you'll say, okay, I get what you're saying. Mm-hmm. But their first album, Who Got the Props, definitely a milestone album in hip hop to me. Yes. Definitely. But that would be considered a cult classic. A certified classic would be 36 Chambers. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. 36 Chambers would be a certified mm-hmm. classic. Uh Nas mostly Ilmatic. Yeah, Nas Ilmatic. Mostly mostly all Wu Tang albums are certified classic. Damn. God damn it. The first the first four? Yeah. Yes. Man. And then we the ones after that, but, but the, the first four, I mean, like, you think Method and Man I, albums I mean, a certified from, classic? To Cal? Yeah. yeah. A lot of people say they don't. I don't know why. To Cal, to Cal was fire. It definitely is. To Cal was fire. What's that shit? Nigga smoking. To Cal album was fire. Man. Yeah. I don't care what y'all said. It was well, like, I mean, everybody likes, you know, opinions. What's like the that? best take album? The best Wu-Tang album for me? Yeah. Would definitely be. It would be um, it would be the first one. You think that's their best album? Yeah. Bring the ruckus, mm-hmm. mystery of chess boxing. Mhm. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. I think we'll take forever is better. Uh, production wise, it's better. Yeah, I, to, I can agree. Me, with that. I can agree. With production that. And, and and it sounds quality, but yeah, I agree with that. Like, okay, with me, let me tell you what it is with me. Yeah. With me. You, the first couple albums of an artist, yeah, are usually their best albums. I think it's their best album. Yeah. The reason why I say that because you can feel the you you, you can feel the passion they put into the project. Yeah. They was really trying to get out there. They was trying to get out there. Yeah, you know what I mean. They was trying to get out there. They was trying to make. They was trying to make the best music that they, that yeah. best music they could. Do you think beats wise, the second album is the winner? Yes. Easy. Yeah, Easy. definitely. Yeah. Easy. Look, it, it's still a hard fight because the way the the way it's just the a, first Wu Tang album start. It was just so raw. It was. It just sounded like it was done on a a tape deck. Yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That was the that was the feeling. That was the feeling that Wu Tang gave. Bring the motherfucking rockers. That was the Bring feeling. The the, like if Wu Tang felt like. If, if you couldn't relate to somebody in Wu-Tang, is something wrong, you were corny. You got that. You were corny. Like, you, you, your Dude, whole team, top. Dude, your whole team top. was corny, bro. If you ain't had nobody inside your camp that you yeah. related to Wu-Tang, you were corny, bro. Because every single, like, it was just this yeah. raw. And that raw feeling at that time, yo. So protect your, protect your neck is better than the triumph? Protect your neck. Yeah, better than the triumph. Nah, not too many good songs are better than the triumph. Protect your neck. You know, obviously, you know what yeah, technique yeah, is. Yeah. Wu Tang class, all right. Watch the yeah, step, kids. Yes, 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 yes. Smoke on the mic like smoking Joe Frazier. Hell raising. Yes, yes. Listen. Yeah, Obama Atomic League. Socrates for us. These and our prophecies. That's what I'm saying right there. Yeah. That may be one of the greatest verses ever penned pen to paper. Crazy. Yeah, it's definitely top ten. I don't know how he just knew to say this is gonna be the first fucking. Person. Yeah, and that was definitely and top he ten. He delivered. He delivered. Yeah. He made that song. He made you want to listen to the. He made you want to listen to the whole song. Like these niggas about to bring it on this yeah. song. 
I think that I think that that song kind of killed them now. To be honest with you. What you mean? Because that level of uh, of production and rapping, you can't reach that. I believe once they reached that level, they could never get to that again. It was very difficult. It's very difficult to reach a certain level. I think that with the first album, it was being experimental, and that's why they was at. But this one, they kind of knew what they were doing, and they yeah. did it. But then, I don't think that they, I don't think that they could actually go above that. That beat alone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I think once they hit the pinnacle, because that was their pinnacle to me. Yeah. That was the pinnacle, and I think that it just went downhill from after that. It did. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's very difficult. You got like like uh the city song, the city. Uh uh uh. Yeah yeah like it's it it was it, it was just so good. The album was great. The album was it was crazy. I can pretty much. I don't have to skip pretty much no song on that album. Yeah. On oh, what Wu Tang Forever? Nah, bro, I don't got. I don't think I no. I used to. I put it to you like this, and it's gonna sound crazy, but I played The Shining more than I played Wu Tang Forever. Though. Yeah. Yes, I did. Mm, that was Smith and Wesson, right? Sorry. Yeah, with all the faces around mm-hmm. and the eye in the middle. Yeah. yeah, I played that album to to the end of time. Yeah, well, y'all was really y'all was big on Wu Tang. We was big on Wu Tang too. I think later on we became big on Wu Tang. Y'all was big on yeah, Wu Tang because because when we started rapping, we was big on Wu Tang. Yes. When we was just just we was boot camp click fatigues yes. and sneakers. Yes. You get you bring some fatigues and sneakers. Mm-hmm. We fighting. That's, you know what I'm that's, saying? That's how basically. we was back in the day. Basically. We fighting. Exactly. So I, I I definitely think that um we we had a whole I don't know, I think they had a hold on us back then Wu Tang the mind state of clicks. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then after that, years later, a couple of much years later, and then that's when uh your boy Joey came in to play. I, I was influenced by Joe Buttons. I love Joe Buttons. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he started doing things that going against the narrative and rap music and putting out music that his feelings with his feelings and his heart into it. We ain't talking about like Pac and Big because they was out of here. We talking about people that we thought we could actually meet in person one day you know what i'm saying like you're getting gonna be big like you know what i'm saying Joey, if you're from Jersey. yeah i've I seen joe buttons in three times in concert you know what i'm saying i never actually went up to him but i seen him i seen him one time do a concert in philadelphia he rapped for three hours straight three what? hours joe, 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 man, joe's a fool i don't think i know how gifted joey really joe's a fool. is bro. I just seen a podcast with him talking a like little Joe yachty buttons, bro. talking a little yachty talking about something he he uh little yachty said you think you could beat me in a, in a rap if we put a beat on right now and joe's like fucking right hell yeah come on yachty stop you, you don't even don't even don't even question joe buttons pen bro i don't know what the hell you think like i don't know what he was thinking look man i i was there for that total slaughter you went to Toad Slaughter with me? Then we go together. Yes, we, yes together. we did. We went with Snipe, right? It was me, you were Snipe. Yes, we did. Yes, I... That's when Daylight came out of Spawn. Shit yeah. on the stage. Oh. Yeah, he literally took a dump on the stage. He was battling uh, was T uh, T Rex. We, we, we no, we missed that one. Nah, we seen that one. I seen it. I, was I don't know. Nah, I don't remember. So we 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 got there when they first. Oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah, seen yeah, the yeah. everything. Yes, yeah, you're right, you're right. We got there when they first, before it started because we was outside. Mm-hmm. We seen the whole thing. We seen everything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yep, I and and that. uh he battled Hollow the Dawn. Mm-hmm. And Loader Lux battled Murder Mook. Yep. The second battle mm-hmm. was the second battle and Lux lost. Yeah, he definitely lost that. He battle. lost, he lost that one. He, Mook, Mook had it. Yeah. Mook, Mook was ready that night. Yeah, he was ready. Mook was ready yeah. that night. But I'm like, Yeah. I'm they, like, they 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 one and one, man. It's crazy. I'm sitting there like, yeah, what's going on? Mook, Mook. Mook was ready that night. Yeah. It's and crazy so how they are. Joey, man. It's Joey crazy. was ready that night too. Like yeah. I don't know what people talking about, like all because he rapped like in the in, in, 
more of a rap way than yeah, the model tone, than slow. A, yeah, than a battle yeah. rap way. Yeah, he still was killing them. Yeah, he was killing them. To me, I'm sitting yeah. there like, okay, yeah, what you, I'm not hearing what he's saying. Like Eminem was in the stands. Yeah, he was there. But I'm Eminem, saying, he was up in the stand. Buster Eminem, Rhymes was there. Buster Rhymes. Race to five nine, he was all up in the stand. Uh, 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 he was there too. Yeah, he was there. Yes, yes he was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yeah, it, 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 it was there. That's crazy. Oh man, I should have said that. Now y'all gonna think we was at a party. Like, nah, it was total slaughter. <laughs> total it was total slaughter. slaughter. He wasn't at no party. Nah, he was there. <laughs> mm-hmm. But look, man. Shout out to Buckshot, man. Definitely shout out you to mean? Buckshot, bro. You will soon. Well, yeah, we out of here, man. I'm out of here. We out of here. See y'all. Peace. Bye, man. Torch it up. Let's go back to the content. We can figure out something. <laughs>